But like, um, yeah, like, I forgot what I was saying. I got a phone call and the, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, like, we all come from different walks of life. We all come from different areas. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, our, our oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Certain lessons, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is only gained through certain levels of pain, certain levels of, certain levels of struggle. The things that I've gone through, somebody from wherever else can't go through. I don't want to say can't go through, but wouldn't make it through. The things that they go through over across the water, I probably wouldn't make it through. You know what I'm saying? We're all built differently for different projects, for different things, which means God has to operate differently in us. And sometimes people, we as people, we don't understand that because we feel as though, okay, we're all humans. Okay, we're all people, flesh and blood. Okay, so there's one God. So we got to be robots. We got to act a certain way, but that's not true. And the Bible tells us that. That there's going to be people who are different from you. But it doesn't make their connection with God any less than the connection that you have. Because of the simple fact that God operates in me differently. I may not look like, you know what I'm saying, somebody that you think God talks to. I may not seem like, sound like, or, you know what I'm saying, even smell like somebody that you would associate with God's messenger or God's whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I pray, you know what I'm saying, every day. You know, I, I'm I, I'm getting better at reading my Bible you know what I'm saying? I need to be better with it. But, um, you know, I see God daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may not look like it. My my whole demeanor, my whole vibe may throw you off. But then there's somebody, you know what I'm saying, maybe 10 rows down that can identify with my vibe, can identify with the way that I look and needs to hear the things that God is saying through me. And, and you, you know what? The thing about it is that message that I'm saying to that person may not come through anybody else or if it does come it may not come the way that i bring it because i was sent to to talk to this person i was sent to send a message to this person so that they can understand where you're at your life still matters your spirit matters your soul matters everything it all matters it matters to god and he's the only person that you really need to be trying to please anyway so staying true to yourself is the best thing that you can do you know and the best way to find God is through yourself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, you got to take self out. You got no, because God operates through me differently. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to read about it. I'm going to see God. I'm going to do things that I need to do in order to find the God in me. You know, the Bible says that we are the church. It's not the building. We are the church. God lives within us. God said your temple, your, your body is a temple unto God. Don't defile our temple. So, it's all about being true to yourself, being true to God. It, it, it may not be, I grew up in a Pentecostal church, so I know about shouting, speaking in other tongues and all that. It may not be about that for everybody, you know what I'm saying? It may not be about that. It may be somebody learning from a brother like Nori Muhammad. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Christian, born and raised Christian. But I got my teaching, my un my understanding of my teaching through a Muslim. You see what I'm saying? I was taught by a Pentecostal pastor. I didn't understand what I was being taught, but I was I came into understanding by Nori Muhammad, which is a Muslim. Now that doesn't mean I, that doesn't mean I'm supposed to be a Muslim. That just means that everybody has something to contribute. Everybody's testimony is a testament of God. Regardless of what you think. My testimony is a testimony of how God blesses me every day by opening up my eyes, by allowing me to see the good of the land and the land the good of the Lord, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, scripture that God has been giving me lately is just that. 